He went back in 1929 with my mother and me, my brother and my sister. And I want to talk about that. this was in 1929. Yeah, now this is at the height of when the depression, when the stock market crashed. Exactly, exactly. So how did you guys have the money to go back to I Greece? I know, my dad had it. Okay. He wanted to go because he hadn't gone back after he left uh, Greece 30, in 1900. So almost 30 years later. Yes. Wow. And he went back as a family. Unbelievable. Well, I remember you telling me that one of the ways you guys had money to go to Greece was when the billboard uh, my hurt. Mother, uh, hurt. My yeah. mother. Tell that story. You guys were walking down the street? How we got the money to go to Greece. My mother took me out in Greek town across the street to the Greek butcher shop. My sister was a baby, so she put the baby to sleep, and she took me by hand across the street, which was Blue Island Avenue, to the Greek grocery store to buy meat. That day was a very windy day, and years ago, they used to put advertising signs on top of buildings. So next door to my father's house at 811 Blue Island, Chicago, uh, with signs. Oh, well, they were just advertising from General Outdoor Advertising Company. So my mother took me by the hand. It was a windy day. She didn't think nothing of it. So we went across as we crossed over the street. It was a streetcar and a streetcar came by. So we went across. She held me by my hand. But it was a windy day. So windy, we didn't think nothing of it. But who would have thought that the sign was going to fall off the building and fall on my mother? And so my mother was on the curb, and because I was little and she was big, she protected me. But she had trouble with her back because of the sign. Sign hit her in the back. Yes, yes. Later on, yes, she had to go for baths to for Michigan. Well, anyway. Oh, really? For, for like treatment for the back? For a long time. My wow. dad used to take her with the train. To Michigan, uh, St. Joe, Michigan. Okay. For mineral baths. How long was she de- gone? Okay. Like a week at a time, or? Oh, we were there every time the w- summertime. Oh, you guys would go like every summer to do this. Yeah. Would you all go as a family? Yes. Okay, because I wasn't sure if she was away from the family no, when she no, was doing this. We were together. So you were all together. So we first time we ever stayed at a hotel. Interesting. But I think because we got the hotel, my dad, my dad was a member of the Greek club. Uh, I can't remember the club. They helped towards the expenses of the hotel. Okay. Maybe they had so like a we, travel package or yeah, something like that to make I, it more reasonable. Remember. That's great. The club, I can't remember the name. So we went to a hotel. It was thrilling for us kids. Sure. Because we never was in a hotel. And so we stayed there, and, and during the day, my mother had certain periods of the day where she went for her mineral bath. Okay. So my dad took care of us. Come breakfast, we used to go down, and we used to have pancakes. Oh, very nice. At like the diner, we the hotel pancakes diner? pancakes, and they used to come with a metal pan over them to protect and keep them hot. Oh, interesting. So we ate them. <laughs> well, that was our, to us a treat. <laughs> it was a big treat. Sure. Let's go down for pancakes. <laughs> so my mother, I think we stayed there six months. Wow, me? Yeah, my dad did, but he commuted. He would go back and forth. Yes, but we stayed. You in stayed Michigan. at the hotel, yes. so he was working. Yes, he was and working. Then, we had wow. the shop. We had. The, what kind of shop? The fruit stand or whatever, or what? Uh, what, what, what did you? What did he no, sell? When he came from Greece, at the beginning, he was a peddler. Okay. He owned a horse and a wagon. And he used to go around the old neighborhoods and call out, uh, not fruit, kapuska, uh, in the different languages. It was a Polish neighborhood. Okay, what's kapuska? Cabbage. Oh, so he would sell and only he cabbages? Had, no, he had all kinds of vegetables. Like green vegetables, but I basically? I this word. Okay, kapuska. Was yeah. that a Polish word? Polish neighbor. I see. Yeah, that's Polish for cabbage. Was your neighbor, so was the neighbor ne- neighborhood next to the Greek neighborhood, a Polish he neighborhood? Was, he took a street in a neighborhood. I don't know. You don't know how far he, he went and everything? Okay. And he went up and down with the wagon. Okay. And the wagon and the horse he had rented. And that's the way he made his money. And he raised us three kids. Okay. So coming along with 
with the uh, mi going to Michigan where my mother had the accident, we had to sue the company. The company was Can General Outdoor Advertising Company. Okay. And we got $5,000 from them. That's a lot of money back then. And at that time, my uncle, Mr. Vlachos, was a lawyer, and he took the case. In fact, Mr. Vlachos was the lawyer for Insol. Remember Insol? No. Is that he a product? He was a crook. <laughs> Insol, was that a... Was that a That's his name, Insol, Samuel Insol. Was he a politician? Was he yes, a gangster? Yes, he was a politician. Oh, and he was a crooked politician? He was. And Vlachos was his lawyer as well. Was his lawyer, and Mr. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Inso went to Greece to protect himself. Oh, to get out of going to, to jail in America. That's right. So he fled the country. I don't know the whole story, but that's what I'm I. I'm gonna have to look that up, Mr. Inso. Yeah. Interesting. He was a Chicago politician. He was a yes, and it came later on. I saw that in the paper. They found out he was a crook. Wow. So my father. <laughs> you could stop there. All right, way. that's good. <laughs>